Good morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Alexis and I'm a fifth and final year PhD student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. I study biological oceanography and today is going to be a day in my life working from home as a PhD student. So it's 740 and my partner me, she already left to her job. So I'm about to get started for my day. It's kind of a rainy day today, a little gloomy and like moody outside. So I'm gonna turn my essential oil diffuser on to kind of like make the scene nice for me to do work in here. And I already have my coffee made. So I'll start drinking that to start getting ready um, and getting myself in the right mindset to do some writing work today. All right, I'm just taking a quick look at my schedule for the week. And today looks like it's a holiday, but not a holiday that UH observes. So today I'll be finishing writing up my committee meeting report. So basically just summarizing what happened in the meeting. I need to send it for approval to all of my committee members and then send it to the like office people who file it. Then I need to shift to working on my manuscript one again. I need to revise my introduction. Most of it's written. I just need to add some citations and clean it up a little bit to send it to my advisor. She's expecting it by tomorrow, so I need to get that done today. Then I wanna take a lunch break to work out because I'm trying to prioritize my physical health now that I sit and write all day. And then I wanna do some YouTube uh, editing to have a video to post by Wednesday morning. The rest of my week looks pretty good, but I'll give you a preview. Tomorrow will be heavier writing in the morning, also from home with a similar lunch break and at home workout. Um, also editing because I probably won't finish everything today. So like two half days or so of editing will hopefully be enough to get it done. Wednesday, and Friday, I wanna to go to the gym in the morning because those will be campus days. I need to work on writing my IDP, Individual Development Plan, because my advisor's been wanting me to do it and it's now required by NSF. So I need to make sure that I do some thinking for my meeting on Friday with my advisor to go over that. Then I have to do some like small task in the lab, just administrative stuff. I wanna catch this presentation. I have my GES mentoring. And then I meet another grad student in the lab just to kind of help him out. Thursday is another heavy writing day with my Young Voices of Science um, hour and a half program. Friday, uh, I kind of mentioned it, but yeah, gym, meeting on campus, a small period here where I can do a small, like maybe not too important task or something that doesn't take too long, lunch break, and then followed by another period of writing. But yeah, that's what my day and week is looking like. It's looking like my heavier writing days will be today, tomorrow, and Thursday because Wednesday and Friday are kind of more busy with meetings and yeah, being on campus. So yeah, trying to make good progress on my manuscript one. That's in good shape. I basically have like a solid intro to maybe a results section that my advisor is reviewing right now. And once I finish off the intro, she can review it and take a look. And then I'll shift into a different part of the project, which is a little bit more data analysis. Like we're adding a data type to the paper now that I've summed up all of the other parts. So yeah, not quite done, not quite ready for submission, but making good progress. And yeah, trying to get a YouTube video done to post on Wednesday, and then hopefully another one to post on Sunday. 
So we're staying busy. And it's not really a good week for surfing. The waves aren't looking really good on South Shore, so it's more likely that I'll be doing at-home workouts and going to the gym with Mishi uh, in order to get our workouts in. Okay, so I just want to show you guys something exciting that me, but mostly Mishi, has been working on, and it's called Study Wave. It's our Etsy store. So you could just find it, yeah, Study Wave on Etsy. Look at how cute she made it. Um, PhD essentials as well as surf merch and educational materials so yeah we made a little store that you guys should check out where we're selling a few things that are like PhD oceanography and surf related uh, so we have some tote bags this oceanography logo that she made we also have it on t-shirts as well as compostable phone cases these are some cards, like you're a PhD candidate, your paper got published, you got the grant, um, a little surf journal, more journals, this one's for brain dump, they come in multiple colors, some sweaters that say romanticizing my PhD, some oceanography mugs, yeah, these mugs are really cool. We also have one at home right now that I'll show you in a little bit. But yeah, these journals are kind of my favorite too, and they come in so many different colors, all very like, I don't know, colorful, groovy, fun. They say PhD notes, PhD plans, and then some educational posters that Mishi made. These are like to teach kids how to learn German, and these are deep sea animals and deep sea biology themed as well as some puzzles. So we have a little bit of everything and it's just to share the things that we like and things that might be interesting and fun for you guys. I'm very excited about the mug. It came out so cute. If you're interested in anything we have or like it, uh, comment below if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see. But yeah, you can follow us here on Etsy to see the merch that we're releasing. Okay, so I wanted to quickly show you guys what some of these products look like in real life. And check it out, this is the oceanography mug. And kind of the whole reason it's a bucket here is because we saw a meme that's like, oh, you know you're in marine science when you like just have this bucket because buckets are used for everything, right? It's used to collect water, it's used to collect animals, it's used for so many different things. And that's kind of like the joke, the marine ecology or oceanography bucket. So yeah, it's a bucket with some googly eyes and a little fish hopping out of it. And it says oceanography club and mine says since 2020 because that's when I started in my PhD program. Right now I'm drinking this pumpkin spice latte, homemade, using the layered like superfood creamer. Very delicious. But yeah, how cute. We also got our first journal in that arrived this weekend. Check it out. This is probably my most favorite design. I really like the colors. I like the the waves. I, I telemarketing. I like the waves. Right now, it has some like white margins that Mishi is getting rid of. That's why we ordered a test one to double check that it was what we wanted. On the front, it says PhD notes, and on the back, it says you got this. And they're just blank. Um, pages on the inside just nice lined pages i forget how many but i'm sure it says on the etsy store how many pages there are but yeah if you're interested in these journals if you're a phd student or if you're not maybe the surf notes or the brain dump journal would be more for you but go check them out on our etsy store it will be linked in the youtube description below that's just a little plug for our merch because we're very excited about this. Mishi has been working so hard on all of these designs. Uh, it's something she really loves to do, so I'm very excited that we're doing it. But now we should get back to the video and I should get started on my work for the day. I'm gonna start on the first task that I wanted to do, which is writing and finishing up my committee meeting report, sending it out to my committee for approval, and then sending it to the ocean office once they like it. 
Let's get into it. Okay, I've finished writing up and revising my committee meeting report and I already sent that out to my committee to look over before I send it to the office to route like for signatures and everything. Uh, so that's done. First thing of the day. Next, I need to revise my introduction because my advisor's waiting for like a complete draft of my introduction and methods. I already sent the methods, but I need to make some final changes and tweaks to the intro, add some citations, kind of clean up some text, make it a little bit more concise, and then I think it's ready to be sent on. So I'll work on that for like the next two hours. I might join this woman in science writing group around 11. It's on Zoom and yeah, maybe I'll join that. We'll see how I'm doing. But yeah, time to get writing. And I'm wearing these blue light glasses because my eyes have really been hurting and struggling a bit with being on a screen um, and then also being on my phone, right? So I'm really trying to like, I don't know, limit the eye strain and protect my eyes a little bit because I'm going to need glasses soon. For sure, I can feel it coming. All right, we're gonna do a chai tea now because I can't have two coffees in a day anymore. So chai it is. Uh, but this is a pretty good one. It's from Trader Joe's when I went back to California. And look at this cup. Go grab yours now if you're an oceanographer or a marine science person. Or if you just like the mug and want to support us. Okay, so it's 12.30 and I'm still working on my introduction. I am nowhere near being finished with my introduction today. It looks like I'm also gonna have to work on it tomorrow because, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. There's no way it's all getting done today. I keep reviewing it, keep finding problems and like areas that need to be rewritten or like going back to the literature to see exactly uh, what they said and to make sure that's supported by what I'm saying. But yeah, it still has some issues and I'm trying to get it to a like completed draft as possible before sending it to my advisor. So I really wanna put in enough work into this section to make sure it's good when she reviews it so she's not like wasting her time reading something bad or making like unnecessary comments so that's kind of what i'm working on and i'm really tired but it's lunchtime now and i'm supposed to take a break to get some food and also to work out i'm not totally sure if i'm going to be working out today it's possible that i like skip that because i'm too busy working on my stuff I'm debating like changing the plan and continuing working on my introduction for the rest of the day till about 4.30 and worry about editing tomorrow or later this evening. So the plan I have might change because now that I'm into working on the introduction, I would rather just kind of like finish up my thoughts and finish my progress rather than stopping here and trying to pick it back up tomorrow. I think it's kind of nice like once you get in the zone to just keep going and maybe that's easier than like stopping and trying to get back into it tomorrow. <sighs> so yeah, that's just how these things go. Everything takes so much longer than you expect and the plan always changes. Yeah, I'll take a little bit of a break, uh, probably eat a bar or something like that, maybe some leftovers and get back into it. I'll probably eat while I'm writing. And hopefully squeeze in a workout. It would be sad if I said I was gonna work out and I don't because I've done that before, but we'll see. 
All right, we have a nice and full fridge. Um, I think I'll take an Aloha bar. I really like these. I, I... Yeah, Aloha bar. I, I... And the rest of my breakfast, because I didn't finish my bagel. And we just got brand new cream cheese, so... Finishing my bagel sounds good. All right, slight change in plans. I just saw that Mishi's coming home early because I'm pretty sure she has laryngitis. She like kind of lost her voice and then I think it's just really painful for her when she's talking, even if it's like not very loudly. Yeah, basically her throat has like really been bothering her. It's really dry, really sore really painful when she's speaking so she's been trying to like limit the amount that she's speaking and using her voice for the past like 10 days and she was on fall break last week so didn't do much speaking during that week and went back to work today and it's sounding like it's not going well so she's heading back home and it'll be the both of us for the rest of the day Kind of excited that she's coming back early, but feel bad that she's in pain, but she made a doctor's appointment for tomorrow morning, so she'll get it checked out. We also heard that like teachers have problems with losing their voice because they're just using it so much, and I'm wondering if she was like a little bit sick and then overusing her voice and now has laryngitis like really bad, so I hope she gets that sorted out.